I saw weird stuff in that place last night. Weird, strange, sick, twisted, eerie, godless, evil stuff. And I want in. Hi guys, Flinky Boss here. Um, just basically starting up um, Leap Droid here and it's a uh, super cool and very simple easy to use but also um extremely swift and no hiccups so far um emulator for android running on windows 10 in my case took about um five minutes no well probably about 10 15 by the time i had finished everything but it was just because i was totally new to it and i'm trying to help you out here if you want to play this um, war robots on uh, leap droid so you don't have to kind of waste any time I'll post a link in the description of this video you can probably find it in some depository as well but uh, the thing to be aware of here is that leap droid is now defunct as far as the development uh, I'm combining it with um, X padder and X padder is a, a way of mapping your keyboard and mouse to uh, an ordinary uh, Xbox or whatever controller you have connected to your Windows 10 machine or whatever Windows machine you have. For now I'm just going to show you how to use a keyboard and mouse uh, on, a, on a PC uh, to play War Robots. But first of all I'm just going to tell you how simple it is to install and get everything started up. So what you get when you actually start up LeapDroid is Play Store, all these things here, what you see on the top lines, two lines here, all that is there. The first time you go in uh, to LeapDroid and uh, you want to download your War Robots uh, game, you have to set up your uh, or attach your Google account. So all you have to do is basically just pick existing and give your email and password and that's it. So what you're seeing here is basically all the controls that you have on the phone. On the right hand side you see things like, uh, you know, the screen off. Uh, sound up and down, uh, snapshots, um, go back, and uh, you know things like you know r you know background apps and all that kind of stuff. Yeah, and we can switch apps just like that. You can also go here. This is where you have your normal stuff, and uh, your settings here will take you to the normal stuff. Wi-Fi, by the way, it's still uh, even if you hardwire into uh, your network, it'll it still need to be switched on. All right, now all the rest of this shit is, is not particularly interesting, except of course, um, your language input, and of course date and time, if you wanna set your clock and all that kind of stuff to your local time. And um, obviously add account, you can do all that kind of stuff here. So this is just like uh, as if you had a norm normal phone, like, or a tablet, whatever you prefer. And uh, to get rid of stuff, you go to this um, overview, here's your home button here's your back button so overview will give you your, you, you know anything that's running you can just drag it off like you would in, in the phone swipe uh, and we can do that with war robots as well just for, to kind of start off clean here I stuck on war wings as well I haven't started trying that out yet I'm gonna map that later but for now um, the only other thing you need to do uh, in Play Store is uh, apart from downloading War Robots is to download your Play Services um, you know this little thing here so that you have your um, account linked so you can link up and sync to your old account because when you start up War Robots on a new machine uh, or a new uh, device um, the thing is you will have to uh, uh, log in with your Google account and um, the thing is, Play Games uh, is the you know the Play services that runs uh, for Google, and that needs to be installed in order to kind of manage these things. So you just install that. That takes about um, 10, 20 se seconds to download, and that's it. After that, it's just a matter of starting up the software. In this case, we're talking War Robots. Here we go. Now it takes a bit of getting used to using a keyboard, but uh, that's why I went and got myself a wired uh, Xbox 360 controller for 20 bucks today. Uh, so I can use that and X padder, which I'll show you in another uh, clip later on. And anyway, so what we have here is the key mapping, and that's the part here that's interesting. Now, at one point, you might have to decide which way you want to run this. If you want to kind of you run full screen, set it up for full screen and start laying out your key, keyboard setup all on full screen 
um, uh, from start. Otherwise, whenever you switch between one and the other, this is what will happen. You see all this stuff has been set up on this particular resolution that I've set up here. Uh, now, if we go f full screen now, everything is out of whack, right? This is, not um, unfortunately, not scaling properly. So, by the way, when you're full screen, this thing uh, flies in and out from the side just by going with the mouse. Um, so I'm just going to leave it at the normal uh, sort of windowed size at this point. It works perfectly in full screen as well, but as I said, all of these gadgets have to be set up um, when you're in the game. Uh, so I recommend that you do that maybe when you're running with a complete uh, virgin single bot uh, <laughs> hanger. And, uh, you know, it doesn't really matter if you're sort of hanging about or playing around with these ga little gadgets here. But anyway, so all you have to do to get this working is to cl click on one of these guys, which is uh, W, A, S and D for your directions on the, on the keyboard. And then the mouse drop, which is that one there on your fire button. And I drop the space here. You can use whatever you want uh, for your uh, target lock and for your skills or whatever um, facility that you have on certain bots. Uh, I set that up on E because it's close to my moving forward button. So it's very easy to just move a finger over and click on it. And so that's all that I needed apart from this guy, which is basically just click it anywhere and you'll have it done. Once you've done all that, you can click on, uh, once you've saved it, you can click on save key mappings and you can take that down if you want. Um, it just uh, gives you a very quick uh, confirmation that you've set it up right, you know. Uh, so it's a location on this case, in this case, the left mouse button, and that's obviously the fire. Um, apart from that, then, it's a matter of just jumping in. So here we go. Start the battle. Uh, oh, and... Um, the one thing when you um, actually first log in in here when you first go in and connect to uh, your Google thing it'll ask you for your uh, email address and so on and your um, uh, your uh, pass password right uh, the next thing it'll tell you is if you have an account running already uh, and an ID attached to it uh, what you'll find is that it automatically will uh, uh, ask you if you want to sync you already have you know it doesn't the the virgin account that you've installed with a fresh uh, copy of the of the uh, of the game is obviously um, basically not the same as what you have on Google so therefore it'll ask you if you want to sync to local you just okay that and everything's fine you got your normal hanger back everything's back and you're good to go all right when you're in battle You basically set all this up and um, fine-tune it. So here we're going to go and uh, do a little quick fine-tuning. And uh, first of all, we're going to just load up a robot. And we're going to get rid of that. And we're going to roll, roll out one of my bots and switch on this. And we can see here that everything's sitting perfect. And if I wanted to adjust something, you know, if I was just adding these things or whatever, I should do it like this drag it and then click drag it and then you see the red line there click so basically place your place your bets <laughs> and you know if you put uh, remember when you put one of these guys on a new one and you want to add some uh, key binding just press it on the keyboard and that's how simple it is you know so anyway this one here is that that there needs to be added for the you know, mouse function of moving around the view and the mouse left click on top of the fire button and one of these guys, these guys uh, right down here if you want to use um, your keys for uh, locking or switching targets that's obviously very useful I use it on space bar um, as it used to be anyway and um, um, let's see now how this goes I'm just going to play this on um, right click to um, discontinue using the mouse for uh, normal mousing use. So we can go in here and uh, start firing. Smell up the place a bit. Switch on the stealth. Go back. Back, 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 back. Now we can obviously do a little bit of corner shooting. Here. Let's see which one we can. I'm going to be fairly dead shortly as well. Well, I have a teammate also. Now, 
Uh, anyway. I'm just gonna go with right click. Yeah, switching between the modes. So what I'm doing here is I'm using W most of the time, just pointing where I'm going. And uh, I've set it up so that it auto locks as well. So. Now. Okay, so a win, not due to my major efforts, but at least that's a win. So, uh, I hope you enjoyed that. Talk to you later. See you in the next one, where I'm showing you the X-Padder and uh, how to use a game controller. I saw weird stuff in that place last night. Weird, strange, sick, twisted, eerie, godless, evil stuff. And I want in.